People like games. What's up, people? It's Solo, and it's time for the Def Jam Vendetta speed run. The classic 2000s rapper, street fighting, wrestling brawler actually had its roots in a Japanese development studio called Aki Corporation, which in the early 2000s was responsible for all of those popular N64 wrestling games that you might have loved like me as a kid, which included No Mercy, WCW vs. NWO, WrestleMania 2000, etc., but they were working on a game called WCW Mayhem 2, which was a sequel for the PS2. But during that time of making it, WWF, which was WCW's competitor, actually bought them out. And so EA, which was going to publish the game, suddenly had a game engine with no actually licensable material to use it with. But coincidentally, at the same time, then Def Jam president Kevin Lyles actually got in touch with someone at EA to say, hey, I want to do something with hip hop that is more than a soundtrack, potentially a game. And they're like, funny you mention that, Josh Holmes specifically, who was a fan of hip hop himself and an EA producer tasked with putting together something to do with that engine. Suddenly they're like, hey, this is a great idea. And that's literally all that happened. And suddenly they're like, let's skin this game. And that's how Def Jam Vendetta was born. It came out on the PS2 and GameCube in 2003. Included 11 rappers, including Nori, Scarface, Keith Murray, Ludacris, DMX, Joe Budden, Redman, Method Man, etc. People remember it more for the sequel, which was Fight for New York a year later with a lot more characters. But that's all I got. I think I'm already over. Well over. But we'll be back. Peace.